The storm headlines tracking uh, the storm has been, you know, really tricky. I will say this. If we had Arctic air in place, I'm not going to look for excuses here. But, you know, it seemed that days passed. Uh, Arctic air in place, you had a lock. You had a storm. You could make it snow six ways to Sunday, right? I mean, it's fluffy snow, dry snow. But these marginal storms where the temperatures are just right there, maybe it's cold enough and the storm's not strong. Enough of this. I guess going ahead in the next few years is going to be like this, unless we can really lock into some Arctic air. Early arrival and mid-morning, too. It wraps early to late evening. So it's a day-long event. Coastal flooding still looks minor to moderate at this point. Just check the uh, forecast for that. Rain showers reaching out through Jersey and New York City. And the track on the storm, that was one thing, right? It was coming up. These two were to merge, these two jet streams. Instead, the storm's weaker. And this one right here sends it farther south. It actually pushes it out of New England just by hair. You know the Commonwealth isn't all that big, right? So then that shift was a big difference here in the uh, snowfall amounts. Again, that rain that will start off first thing in the morning, it'll be pretty light on Cape Ann through the Merrimack Valley. We'll have some snow. And then this is around 745 in the morning. So, yeah, there's some tricky parts to the commute tomorrow and then through noontime as well. Again, we're not seeing intense snowfall rates where we're going over an inch per hour or nearly an inch per hour. Certainly on the South Shore, we could get closer to that in Providence, even to down through Bridgewater, Brockton and Plymouth. But Plymouth will fight at first with the rain snow line, same with Marshfield, and then down through Chatham as well, and then that exit out through Cape Cod as well. So here it is in a nutshell. This green is where we start off as rain and then change to snow. This is the most intense snow during the height of the storm. And this is lighter snow with uh, periods of maybe moderate at times. This will get us to three to five in the city as well as out through Natick and through Worcester too, just uh, along and south of the pike. And then this five to nine sweet spot is now brocked into Providence and down through New Bedford, too. And then the one to three in Concord, Lancaster, all the way to Reading and up to Gloucester, up to an inch, Haverhill, Salisbury, and Lowell. For any snow bands that reach up here and fade out through Boxford and up into Newburyport, too. Gusts of wind 40 to 45 out through Cape Cod, 45 to 50, maybe higher in the outermost Cape, and then 35, or 25 to 35, which is not saying that this is like, you know, a walk in the park. It's still going to be pretty breezy in many spots. And then astronomically high tide, thanks to the new moon, midday to early afternoon, and minor to moderate. So not really letting up on this. We do see the possibility of minor slash moderate in Hampton and also in Gloucester. And then Boston as well, minor to moderate at the time of high tide around 2 o'clock. And then out through Hyannis, too, and then into Chatham Harbor, too. And we'll watch this on Nantucket for the possibility of minor flooding. Uh, it looks like 37 degrees for high temperature. That comes down in the afternoon as the colder air starts to arrive. And then Wednesday is a chillier day overall, and the sun is back. Now, going ahead, there's another weak storm system that does not look like it's a huge problem for us, but maybe in northern New England we'll get some snow out of that Friday into Saturday, too. I don't really feel like talking about that, though.